Hey friends, welcome back to the channel with more of the Big Bang Theory. This is the season one finale. Can't believe we're here already. Last time we had Leonard's birthday party, which he couldn't even get to. He missed the entire thing. Uh, that was sad to watch. But yeah, uh, I wonder what they have in store for a season finale, possibly a cliffhanger, something that'll make people want to come back for season two, I'm sure. So excited to get into it. If you want to watch the full reaction, check out Patreon in the link in the description below. Otherwise, take a quick moment to leave a like, and let's get started. Water zing shit Sheldon. Water means it. Water means it shit Sheldon. Oh my god. Water means it shit Sheldon. What's this? You did the same thing. That's what you did. As the teacher, it's your obligation to separate your personal idiosyncrasies from the subject matter. <laughs> True enough. You know, I'm really glad you decided to learn Mandarin. Why? Once you're fluent, you'll have a billion more people to annoy instead of me. <laughs> hey, Medu Luiza. What? You just called Leonard a syphilitic donkey. Whoa. <laughs> my apologies, Leonard. I'm only as good as my teacher. Oh. Why are you learning Chinese? I believe the Szechuan Palace has been passing off orange chicken as tangerine chicken, and I intend to confront them. Hey, jerkfish, you forgot your iPod! <laughs> what's going and on? Break up. Oh, I'll tell you what's going on. That stupid, self-centered bastard wrote about our sex life in his blog. Oh. Horrible. Okay, where were we? <laughs> uh, now I have a blog to find. No, Howard. Our whole universe was in a hot Of course he does. Penny, are you okay? Look, I understand that breaking up with someone can be very painful, Go so if you away! want... Okay, feel better, bye. Mm. Hey, look, I found an iPod. Nice. <laughs> it was Penny's boyfriends, they broke up. Apparently he posted intimate details of their physical relationship on his blog. Which that you can't I find. Which find anywhere. <laughs> you know what, I'm gonna go back and try talking to her again. Hold her, comfort her, and if the moment feels right, See if you can cop a feel. How did I know that was coming? I'm not going to take advantage of her vulnerability. So you're saying if in the depths of despair she throws herself at you and demands you take uh -oh. her right there, right now, you'll just walk away? Said I'm her friend, not her gay friend. <laughs> you can do it, Leonard, if that happens. Am I just an idiot who picks giant losers? No, no. Uh... Okay. So I pick good guys, but turn them into losers. No. Of course not. Well, it's got to be one or the other. I really thought Mike was different. I thought he was sensitive and smart. I mean, not you smart, normal, non-freaky smart. <laughs> non-freaky? Yeah, no, sure. My friends at work found it. My sister found it. Judging by my Jeez. email, a number of prisoners at the Michigan State Penitentiary found it. <laughs> I feel so betrayed and embarrassed. Just want to crawl into a hole and die. <laughs> <laughs> Why the laugh track there? It's not funny. Okay, well, you know, this isn't that bad. It, it, it just paints the picture of a wow. very affectionate woman who's open to expressing her affection in non-traditional locales. Is this Subway the transportation system or Subway the sandwich shop? <laughs> sandwich shop. Oh, I don't know which one would have been better. the health code? Yeah. You have absolutely no reason to be embarrassed. Do you think I well, yeah. It? Well, no, 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 no. Because I do that. I do over oh, oh, my God. Maybe I should call Mike and apologize. No, you, no. No, no that, that would be underreacting. Oh, my God. I should just say I am done with him. Yes, you should. Go ahead, say it. He has ulterior motives. He can't do this. I never give the man a chance to explain. You were right the first time. This is a man who loves me. What? But in his own stupid way was just trying to show people how he feels. Okay, he, uh... I'm pretty sure I never said that. Leonard, thank you so much. Oh, sure. Well, damn. Maybe I am her gay friend. <laughs> <laughs> I like tangerine chicken, I'm just not getting tangerine chicken. Can we please change the subject? Sure. Tell us again how you screwed up and got Benny back together with her old boyfriend. <laughs> Raj. Let's roll the dice. He was done with him, <sighs> the relationship was broken beyond repair, and I walked over there and I fixed it. <laughs> You didn't fix anything. Boy, it's still gets broken. Better every time you hear it. You just put her back together with someone who's horrible. More compelling. Thank you so much for your stupid advice. He didn't give you that advice. 
And I'm also glad that that didn't work out. Incredible. You managed oh. to screw up the screw up. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Was he cheating? Or not cheating. He was sleeping with someone else already. I'm sorry I yelled at you. It's not your fault. But he had already moved on. Already? That was quick. That's what I said to the woman who had her legs wrapped around his neck. <laughs> well, you know, you did throw an 80 gig iPod. Yeah, no, how could he do that? Just once, I would like to go out with someone who is nice and honest and who actually cares about me. What about if you went out with me? Not the greatest oh. timing. I was just going off your comment about the nice guy. No, and, I know, you know I got and that. Honest. Yeah, totally. So, but it's not- Are you deal. honest? Yes. yes, I will go out with you. This... Really? <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. What do I have to lose? Yeah. Huh. That's the spirit. <laughs> That's the spirit. Uh, I don't know that this is a great idea. Show me your citrus peels. It's gonna be funny. <laughs> Show me your citrus peels. <laughs> no, just no. Give me your citrus peels. I'm sorry. Do you have a second? A second what? Pair of underwear? <laughs> I was just wondering if I could talk to you. Do you know Leonard the best? Not necessarily. Just the other day I discovered he not only has a loofah, he hides it. Why do you suppose a man would be ashamed of having a loofah? You know, I myself prefer to have my excess epithelial cells slough off naturally, but I don't condemn those who seek to accelerate the process. <laughs> and until oh, recently, dude, I oh my no god, idea she's trying to talk. His lactose intolerance. Leonard might come home. Can we talk in my apartment? We're not done. You just, oh my god. No. No. We're already through the looking glass anyway. <laughs> you want to sit down? Oh, I wish it were that simple. What? You see, I don't spend much time here, and so I've never really chosen a place to sit. Well, choose. We, I, there oh, are a boy. number of options, and <sighs> I'm really not familiar enough with the cushion densities, airflow patterns, and dispersion of sunlight to make You can change your mind choice. later. All right, why don't you just pick one at random, and then if you don't like it, you can sit somewhere else next time. No, no, that's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> you go ahead and talk while I figure it out. She needs you to listen. Okay. So I've known for a while now that Leonard has had a little crush on me. A little, little. crush? In the same way Menelaus had a little crush on Helen of Troy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, I don't really know who they are. Leonard isn't the kind of guy I usually go out with. Leonard isn't the kind of guy anyone usually goes out with. <laughs> Would you be open to rotating the couch clockwise 30 degrees? No. What I'm saying is... <laughs> no. Leonard might be different in a good way. If things don't go well with Leonard, I risk losing a really good friend. That's I mean, true. I'm guessing he's not looking for a fling. He's the kind of guy that gets into a relationship for, I don't know, like you would say light years. I would not no. say that. No. Light years is No one would a say distance. that. A light year is a unit of distance, not time. Thank you for the clarification. She's learning. Nope. Mm -mm. <laughs> I think this will be my seat. Okay. Sheldon, do you have anything to say that has anything to do with, you know, what I'm talking about? We might consider Schrodinger's cat. Erwin Schrodinger, in an attempt to explain the Copenhagen I see the point he's trying to make. of quantum physics, he proposed an experiment where a cat is placed in a box with a sealed vial of poison. Until the box is opened, the cat can be thought of as both alive and dead. Get to how it applies to her thing. I'm sorry, I don't get the point. Well, of course you don't get it. I haven't made it yet. Then make it. <laughs> you have to be oh, psychic no, she's to get it, and there's no such thing as psychic. Show them what's the point! <laughs> oh. Just like Schrodinger's cat, your potential relationship with Leonard right now can be thought of as both good and bad. It is only by opening the box that you'll find out which it is. You're saying I should go out with Leonard? No, 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 no. <laughs> Let me start again. In 1930. Oh, oh my. No, 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 no. <laughs> Two seats right there. Chong Shou Shui. Long live concrete. She -she. They actually don't look. Sheldon, I think I've made a Chinese. mistake. I don't think I can go out with her tonight. Then don't. Other people would say, why not? Other people might be interested. <laughs> I'm gonna talk anyway. I assumed you would. I'm gonna talk anyway. 
And the result of blowing it would be that you end up a lonely, bitter old man with no progeny. You're not helping. Tell me whether or not to go through with the date. Schrodinger's cat. Wow, that's brilliant. <laughs> he got it instantly. You sound surprised. Hotsu sues Alido. Neither of them look Chinese, actually. You look very nice. Thank you. So do you. <laughs> At least it's not corduroy. Have you ever heard of Schrodinger's cat? You actually, went to Sheldon too. Far too much about Schrodinger's cat. <laughs> Good. Oh. All right, the cat's alive. Let's go to dinner. The cat's alive. Ooh. Cat's alive. BT Zainar. BT. BT Zainar. BT Ho. Kai Tio, Kai Tio. Bu Shi Liu Ting Chao to Chao. Man, call the police. Get on. BT Zainar. BT Zainar. Man Yop's a Wu Chuang Shang. Han Da Han Da Man Yop. <laughs> oh no. So they're not going to show us the date at all? Wow, I thought they were going to leave us this season with some sort of cliffhanger, but not like that, because I definitely didn't think they were going to go on a date by the end of the season. And actually, the fact that they do makes me kind of certain that it's not going to work out, at least not at first, because they've got to play the will they, won't they game for a much longer time. It's just mixed for good television, I guess. But um, yeah, their relationship also can't be happy and healthy if they got together now either. I won't go into all the reasons Leonard isn't ready to date again. So, because uh, I've talked about it a bunch of times in the past episodes. This episode, though, uh, gave me a couple of reasons to be unsure about Penny, though. Because she just had her heart broken and had her private life put on display for everyone to see. But there were some really unhealthy ways of thinking there when she was asking if she only picks losers or she takes nice guys and turns them into losers and i get it she was feeling so horrible and yeah th there was something that about this episode that was just so weird because i know a lot of people dislike laugh tracks but growing up with them uh with friends and how i met your mother i got i've, I've been used to them for a while so when Penny was talking about feeling so betrayed and embarrassed, wanting to crawl up into a hole and die, and the laugh track played then, I was just like, what? Who made that decision? It's ridiculous. Uh, but yeah, after that, uh, the fact that she was willing to give this guy another chance after a slight nudge, unintentional nudge by Leonard in the wrong direction. I don't know what the issue there is, whether it be low self-esteem or low standards or naivete, but... Definitely feels like there needs to be some growth on her end, too. Uh, I've mentioned before that all the characters in a sitcom tend to have a lot of growth to do. Been looking for what her uh, needs to grow, like where she needs to grow. Uh, saw it in a previous episode when she was telling Leonard off for, like, telling him to, like, throw out all the geeky stuff and stuff. Ugh, that was really bad. Uh, and this time, just, yeah, this relationship, it's not, none of it's her fault, but she does... I think need to grow up a little there too. Uh, Leonard was trying to calm her down, I guess, telling her what was revealed wasn't that bad. I mean, like, I don't think it's that bad, but it somehow shifts the focus away from this guy who betrayed her privacy into it's not a big deal instead. So she wants to believe the good in people even when it's not there. And I think uh, that's such a hard thing to deal with. Uh, I think we saw this in episode two, though, because when Leonard and Sheldon broke into her apartment to tidy and she's talking to Raj about how creepy it was. And then, I mean, we missed the majority of her rant because Raj isn't freaking paying attention, but then she reaches the conclusion that what they did wasn't so bad. Like they're not bad guys, which, oh, it's like she has such a low bar for what is acceptable behavior and she's so willing to forgive. And it shows she has a good heart, but also shows naivete. So a uh, place for her to grow there. Uh, another sign, though, that in this episode that Leonard is not ready to date her is when she went to get Mike back. He was more focused on the fact that he missed another chance to be with her instead of the fact that he sent her back to someone who was horrible for her and in all likelihood will hurt her again. So I'm not going to say he doesn't care about her well-being, but he clearly, but clearly that comes secondary to his own desires. And the fact that his primary motivation when going over there to talk to her in the first place was to test the waters... Ah, I don't know. I don't think he's as bad as some of those nice guys you see out there, but it's really, really bad anyway. And I mean, she agrees to this date with Leonard because he's safe. She thinks that he wouldn't hurt her, but that's also not 
enough of a reason to be with somebody like that's the mere bare minimum you want out of a partner that they won't obvious do like obviously hurtful things and i mean leonard has some good qualities uh hard to think of any on the spot after this episode but it felt like in that moment that's why she made the decision that he he wouldn't hurt her the safety and i mean she even says the words what do i have to lose which is just not a good reason to go on a date with somebody uh really like schrodinger's cat though sheldon talking them uh teaching teaching them that way of thinking uh, I like that how the one person both Leonard and Penny went to was Sheldon. Freaking Sheldon, this guy with like zero romantic experience. And I like how it actually seems to have worked. Um, yeah, speaking of Sheldon, it was really entertaining to hear him butchering Mandarin. I mean, he had Howard teaching him and Howard was butchering it, butchering it himself. So it's not like Sheldon was going to be... It's like trying to teach a language via the game telephone. Like it just gets worse and worse and worse. <laughs> I don't think James Hong, the restaurant owner, even understood him. Um, I needed the English subtitles to understand what Sheldon was trying to say sometimes because he butchered it so hard, despite the fact that I'm fluent in Mandarin. Um, it's interesting though, cause I've never actually seen Americanized Chinese food, um, in a restaurant with Eastern influences when it comes to the interior and the decor. That seems so odd to me cause yeah, all the Americanized, uh, Chinese restaurants in New York city at the very least are, they look, I don't know, like. They're, they all have a standard look, and it's not like that. Um, yeah, orange chicken is... Or tangerine chicken. Actually, I don't know if tangerine chicken is uh, Americanized Chinese. I, knew, I know orange chicken is Americanized Chinese food, but tangerine chicken? Not sure. But, um, yeah, orange chicken for sure originated in North America to suit American tastes. I've never had tangerine chicken, so I don't know what it is. Um, but yeah, one thing I was saying during this episode was that the Asian students Sheldon was trying to speak to in Mandarin looked... They didn't look Chinese, um, now after I said that, I had to go back and look up on IMDb if they're actually Chinese to black, back up my claim. So I took a look and the last guy's name is NGO. I don't know how to pronounce that. And that is Vietnamese. Uh, but the girl wasn't listed. She looks Southeast Asian too, though. So that's just like a little extra detail that makes the scene even funnier to me that he's trying to speak Mandarin to people who in all likelihood don't even speak the language, not from the country. So, uh... Anyway, uh, this wound up actually being one of my favorite episodes this season. Uh, I've mentioned this before, but people have been saying that season one is not a great season overall and that it only gets better from here. So I already enjoyed the first season enough. So I'm looking forward to future episodes, definitely. Um, people also comment a lot that I should do two episodes a week. I, I really can't. Sorry, guys. Because of my living situation, I haven't had a good night's sleep since september 2019 outside of two weeks when my parents went away to taiwan so i'm exhausted all the time so unless somebody wants to take care of some editing for me uh it's gonna be a no on two a week um but we'll so we'll be here once a week for a very long time it'll be about five years buckle in for a slow but fun ride anyway guys thanks for watching leave a like really helps with the channel full reactions early reactions on patreon in the link in the description below and i'll see you guys next time with season two bye friends